Hey Moglets, today we are preparing for Yoimiya. I know we just did Sayu, but what can I say? They're coming at the same time. We kind of need to prepare pretty close together. Of course, expert deductions as always. This will be slightly easier since we figured some good stuff out with Sayu already. For example, her books. You know, these are definitely Sayus, these are Ayakas, these are Yoimiyas. It has to be like that. You know, if they have the option, they're not going to release characters with the same books. That's just how it is. So I think we're going to start with those. This is the same dungeon we were just running for Sayu, so I'm really going to try and keep this short. I think our record was 45 seconds, if I remember right, so we'll try and beat that. Even though Kaching does get a bonus, I want to try at least with uh, Hu Tao, which is far and away my strongest character. Oh yeah, I need Vint Boy. What am I doing? That's obviously not going to be that great. Well, straight minute. Ain't that bad, I guess. Got a purple, pretty pog. I actually didn't even check how many we have. Cause like with every other character, we need like so many silvers. We actually already have a decent amount. Maybe I grabbed a couple from Battle Pass, I don't know, but 23 already, 10 of these, dang. Uh, so we're actually doing okay. I think though for Yoimiya, uh, I will need to raise every skill, not just the E and Q. Regardless, we gotta grab some resin. We'll just start with five condensed and check where we're at. So yes, Vint Boy. It's sad because I can't even use Binet with Hu Tao, but that's not because he's C6, that's because Hu Tao doesn't want to be healed. So it's like <laughs> my one fire main DPS that would still work with C6 Binet also doesn't work. I think that was actually worse by a second, yeah. We just need to get into the rhythm of it. Aw, don't do me like that. And if it wasn't for this one over here, maybe it would have been decent. Yeah, 55. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. The runs keep getting worse. Got another purple though. Why is there always some random dude back here? 112. Okay, next time. I think one of my issues is not waiting until my stamina is full again so I can barely run even to the entrance. No purple, sad. All right, this will be the run for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is big run time. Oh, that was good. 42. Yep, because we got 45 as our best. Still though, that was pretty tough and we got super lucky because in the middle there we had uh, the two samurais came really close together and I could spam them with Hu Tao's ult and then her charge. Anyway, probably final condensed. You know, we still have like five days to the banner and her and her stuff will be open I think twice more. So we don't need to get everything today, but just most. So that we're not totally overwhelmed like, you know, one or two days before she's here and scrambling around. All right, let's head to the crafting table. So again, as usual, three browns per level one skill. So we need to do doop, doop, doop to make sure we have enough. Get someone that actually does something in here. I'll take Eula. Give me some bonus, Eula. Do it. All right, but we have exactly enough teachings, the brown ones, not quite enough silvers, but again, close enough. We actually need 63 uh, to get all, all talents to six. But again, we'll do a few more runs before she actually launches. So I think that's close enough so that, you know, I'll be able to have the resin. So now comes the hard part, you know, the speculation. What else does she need for talents? Because they always need something for talents. You know, I'm looking around here and not that many things fit, but the one thing that does fit, you know how Yoimiya never stops talking? Ever? Scrolls! Duh! Like, you know, someone who talks so much probably reads a lot also because, you know, they always want to have, like, words going on. <laughs> and uh, so scrolls have to be it. Which is actually really cool because we have a million scrolls. Well, a thousand, which is close enough. So we're definitely done with that. We'll have plenty. You do need like 66 of the green ones for talents up to six. You know, a few more for the higher levels. But yeah, again, we have way more than enough there. And finally, weekly boss mats. Ayaka used these. We already figured out through our expert deductions that uh, Sayu will need these. So only one left, Dragon Lord's Crown. This must be it. And we have seven, so we can get some skills pretty high if we so desire. I mean, there is one last thing, of course, the crown here. I'm going to assume this is what she needs for the level 10 skill. Um, I know it seems like a stretch, but like she is a queen and um, not literally, but you know. So that's all for talents. Of course, she is a pyro character, so we need to get all the redstones that we need. As all characters do, she only needs one of these so we can craft everything we have here. For the next two ascensions, she'll need nine of the blue ones, so we just do doot doot doot. And for level 80, which is typically my first goal when they come out, we need nine of the red ones, so we're actually good here as well. So the next two materials, they always need a world boss material. You know, <laughs> like all jokes aside, this is what I knew she needed before I knew she needed it. Uh, Smoldering Pearl. I gotta say, this boss is absolute crap. I hate it. It's by far the worst cube in the game. Like, 
ice one is easy compared to it. It's just so annoying. It's like, ugh, well, let's just go fight it once. You can see we, we already fought it a few times. Uh, for this one, I actually use, well, I was trying Mona, but Mona is kind of like too slow for it because it's just dashing around all the time. And, but I, I still use her, but I also use uh, Kaching. Kaching is quite nice. She can get rid of that stuff pretty quickly with her Electro stuff. Um, I guess Vinti will just keep? Sure. Like, dude. He does so much damage as well, and he just, like, starts with all these dumb things. Like, he is a freaking rock boulder over there. And now what are you doing? Yeah, now you're a hand that punches the ground and does a massive AoE. Water, of course, is the best. Probably Child would be pretty good here, too, as well. Okay, yeah, now he's diving like a shark. So where you can barely hit him. But almost every time I fought this guy, Mona ended up dying because he does so much damage. Like, Zhongli's shield just goes away so fast, and then she just, just starts getting one-shot. Okay, but his uh, pyro shield is gone, so now he can actually start taking damage, at least. There's that for, like, one phase. And then you have to focus on getting rid of these fire pillars whenever they pop up. Yeah, here. Again, water is going to be really, you know, the best here. All right, my Mona's almost out of stamina. And even if you get rid of all three of them, he still gets some of the charge back. Thankfully, I can kill him before he gets the shield back most of the time. So there's that at least. Yeah, now he's doing some other skill, but it doesn't matter. He should be dead now. It's really mainly the fire shield. Once that's gone, granted you have enough DPS and he doesn't get it back. It's not that bad, I guess. But dang, when he is when he is covered in fire, he is super annoying. We did get three, at least. Uh, Sans. HP on Fort... Ooh, well. Hu Tao, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. That's a really good Sans, though. Maybe Zhongli. I don't know. I guess while we were raising Sayu, we, we did raise an artifact as well. That was horrible. Oh my god, that turned out bad. <laughs> uh, it was so unfortunate, too, because, like, it had so much promise. I digress. Let's go ahead and raise that, see what the fourth sub is. If the fourth sub is bad, I'm not even going to bother with it. Do I have five-piece tenacity? Really? <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. I didn't even realize I had five-piece tenacity, so we could actually swap this out. It's really not that bad either. We got some flat death rolls, so could be better, obviously. It was this one, right? Let's see what that fourth sub is. Oh, okay. You know, I don't think that can really turn out that bad. Crit damage would have been slightly better. Oh, wait, no, Elemental Mastery is actually a bad stat for him. I forgot about that. It might still be good for Hu Tao, I suppose, but she doesn't really run Gladiator. So, I don't know. We're not going to raise it for now, actually. Uh, I forgot Elemental Mastery is just not good for Geo characters in general. So, besides having to farm that really annoying world boss a few more times, thankfully, we've already farmed it quite a bit, so we're almost there. She will need a total of 26 of them for level 80, and then add on another 20 for 90, but we aren't too far away. So, as far as Ascension goes, she will also need Divine Scrolls, because she needed them for talents. They just always share, you know, monster mats in that regard. But you will also need a plant. One of these plants. I already need these for Ayaka, need these for Sayu, these for Kazuha, so it's really only between these two. I was gonna go with Dendrombium, because they're like red and fire and so is she, but that would be too obvious. I don't even know what to say anymore. This doesn't look like anything, Yoimiya, at all. But yes, unfortunately we only have 76, and like every other character we need 108. Since we're gonna head to our Serena Teapot, one quick little thing that I recently figured out, uh, you know, the dude started selling waypoints. You can just go directly to your waypoint. You don't have to pop out the teapot anymore. That's so cool. So I do have some Naku weeds planted here. They won't be ready for another day and a half. Still plenty of time to pick those, plant some more, and pick those before she actually arrives. So that's 16 right there. Sadly, there are only around 50 in the world. Most of them are around here. By the way, when are we going to get a character that tells us where the, the uh, Inazuma specialties are? Yeah, I mean, as soon as you know where to look, you can find a nice bundle of them. And of course, you know, once you have Reputation 3 in Inazuma, you can also pick up a seed for everyone you pick up. I'm not going to make another montage. Those take a deceptively long time to edit, and uh, I'm still kind of burnt out from yesterday. I don't know if I'm going to post this directly after Sayu. I might post it a little later, honestly, just to give them some space apart. These are kind of annoying to farm, much more annoying than the uh, Marrow, because they're all in this very kind of annoying area. I guess once you get used to where they are, it's probably not so bad. You know, there's like a trail of them here and there. But yeah, with 87 and the ones I will be able to farm for my Serena Teapot uh, before her banner arrives, that will be enough for 80. I'll probably do one full round. I just don't really want to farm them right now because I've already been kind of 
casually picking them up. But yeah, there was actually surprisingly not as much to do with Yoimiya. I think because I was already sort of kind of preparing for her in the background already. Mainly just her books. There are a few finishing touches again. That fire cube we need to fight a few more times. A few more books to farm. A few more of the Naku weeds. But I think we have pretty much everything else we need, which is Pog. Uh, she will be the one I'm focusing on first, before Sayu. Of course, I do want to get to Sayu quickly as well. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.